In this video, we're going to show you how you can use the QuickTime standard data to compare the times that you get from a video time study with a, perhaps a predetermined time system or your own standard data library. Uh, the QuickTime data is actually a standard data library developed from pure MTM1, uh, but you can use any application here. So if I wanted to show you what is happening here, let's see on this aside and get next. So basically what's happening if I play the video, the operator is just going and retrieving another part and bringing it back and positioning it right here. So I might come in here and I can change my current focus to let's say quick times. This will insert the quick times column right here. I take my mouse and I double click on the quick times column in the highlighted line and it brings up my quick times generator. So let's say I now want to describe the job that the operator did here. I can go to my get and I would say get a jumble part, let's say 24 inches away. And you can see here the value of 1.22 seconds is what represents that particular motion. And also look down here, it's got jet, get a jumble part 22 to 27 inches away. Now he's going to place it. I click on the place and then it's an exact fit and it's 24 inches away. And you can see here my time now is extended to 3.81 seconds. And here I've got a full description of the two motions that I've selected here. Now it's 3.81 that you see here corresponds to the time up here you see in our video, 3.865 seconds right here. So it's very close and that's very typical of what you find from properly applied standard data or predetermined times here. So now I'm going to save that and it slips it back in here, it records the time here. Now then I can go to my summary area and under the Excel export options, I have a motion analysis option here. It's going to go to Excel because here's the Excel icon here. So I click on it here and the information is sent out to Excel. Now what we have here on the left, we have the area, this is all the data we collected from our video time study. So you can see the 3.865 here. Notice the video is linked in here, so you can actually play the video directly back from the Excel sheet here. Uh, and here is the, uh, the motion description that was put together by the Quick Times. There's the time and there's the motion sequence. That represents the activities I selected from the quick times data. Now you can use any source. So you may have your own standard data. You may be using a predetermined time system and you can use that and put it right in here. So let's say we're working on the next aside and get next. And maybe you've got a system called X and X might have a coding system or something like this. Uh, uh, get 24, comma, move 24. And then, uh, PLE, which is place with an exact fit, right? And maybe let's say that generates a time of 3.92. Be very typical for different uh, application standard data or predetermined time systems to small variations like you see here. And then I can put in my description here and say a side part, uh, pick up next and place to machine. That's the description we're going to put in here. That's the description that we've decided to manually type in here. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on the send to balance button here. And if we look at the flow chart for the timer pro, that's going to take the information from here and pass it down into our process analysis area here. But what it's going to do where I have my uh, predetermined systems or standard data application, it's going to overwrite the values that we got from the video area. So you can see this value is going to become, this value here will come in as 3.81. The second time for the aside and get next is going to be 3.92. So I click on this, I just click on send to balance, give it a couple of seconds, and the information is now presented to me over here. Now you can see here I can hover my mouse over each of the items, and when it finds one that comes from the motion analysis, it actually puts the data, there's the first occurrence. You can see the motion time is 3.81. The motion sequence is GJ24, comma, I'll bring it back up again, moved off after that. Uh, comma PE24 and there's the motion analysis description at the top that corresponds to what you see over here in the Excel sheet right here that's the motion description right here if I go to the second one you're going to see this data 3.92 the get move PLE and in this description here so I minimize this I go to the second one here and there it is right in here so what this means is you can actually take your own predetermined time system or standard data application and put the data directly into this Excel sheet and it will automatically be passed into the Timer Pro right here. And obviously that could be very helpful for you in terms of looking for opportunities to be more consistent and develop standard work and look for opportunities to reduce non-value added activities.